to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you how to create some Ray Dunn inspired DIYs using Dollar Tree products. Now Ray Dunn is a name brand. Obviously what makes it popular is the font of it. And so today I decided to have my hand at trying to make these DIYs using Dollar Tree products and no Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how to easily transfer an image using chalk. I want to make sure I put this disclaimer out there. The cups are for decoration only. I wouldn't drink out of them because if you try to wash it, the paint's gonna fall right out. You're probably gonna need waterproof paint. So I really hope you guys enjoy this Ray Dunn DIY video. I am going to aim higher than I've ever aimed before. I want to see if we could get this video to 7,000 thumbs up. This really though honestly inspired me, so I think I wanna do like some more like name brand type of DIYs. So if you wanna see my take on more name brand home decor piece DIYs using Dollar Tree products, let's see if we get this video to 7,000 thumbs up. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. With that being said, let's begin the video. Also subscribe, I forgot to say that, do that. Let's start with the coffee mugs. I'm gonna be showing you how to create these Ray Dunn inspired coffee mugs without using a Cricut. And the way you're gonna do this is with chalk. Now I've seen this done before on an HDTV tutorial and I've never tried it and I was super excited to try it with this. From Dollar Tree you wanna pick up some coffee mugs. I recommend getting white coffee mugs. You'll have to do less layers of paint. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is get some white chalk paint and apply a base layer of this over the coffee cup. Because of the material of the coffee cup, you're not going to be able to just put the chalk directly onto this. You need something for the chalk to adhere to. So that's why I'm doing a layer of this white chalk paint. You can use an acrylic paint, but I prefer the chalk paint because it's just going to adhere really well to the stick chalk that I end up using. You want to paint the entire coffee mug. If you just put it on one section of the coffee cup, it's really going to stand out. I used a coffee sponge to paint this. Coffee sponges are my favorite things to use to paint things. I did body painting for a very long time, and that's where I learned my love for makeup sponges. And then every time I paint, pretty much I end up using makeup sponges because it's inexpensive and they paint really well. Now what you'll need to do is print out an image of the font you want to transfer onto your coffee cup. So I just googled Ray Dunn coffee cups and certain words I want it like tea. I got the image and I screenshotted the image. Sometimes you might have to resize the image to fit your coffee mug whether you want it to be bigger or smaller so I have this T1 and what I do is I cut that word out the main things you're gonna need to transfer is the image chalk a paint pen I got this one from Walmart and it's the fine one a ballpoint pen and some tape so what you do is you take the image you cut out and you apply chalk to the back of the image and you want a nice thick layer of chalk. So at first I use yellow chalk. You don't really want to use white on white. You're not going to be able to see it. And don't worry, whatever color you use isn't going to end up all over the place. But I went with yellow at first. So you're not going to be able to see this the best, but don't worry, I'm going to show you a little better. Now grab a piece of tape and put it on top of your cutout and then place that on top of your cup. You want to put the tape there just in case the chalk doesn't transfer well enough. You don't kind of lose your spot. You'll be able to flip it over, check, and then put it back down if need be. Now what you do is you take your ballpoint pen and you trace over the lettering and you want to put pressure so that the chalk transfers onto the cup. Once you're done tracing you kind of lift up the paper see if the chalk transferred well if it didn't just go over it again with your ballpoint pen. Now like I said, you're not able to see the lettering too well because of the lighting in my camera. I try to dim the light to make it show a little bit more. I don't know if it did the best job, but in person, you're able to see it. So what you do then is you take your paint pen and you just trace over what you see. So you don't need to have super good handwriting and be able to mimic what you see from an image or have a Cricut to do this. You just need some chalk, tape, a painter's pen, and an image. You're good to go. I have so much fun transferring things like this. I decided to show you guys it again, but this time using a purple chalk so you can try to see a little bit better the lettering once I did it. So this time around, I got a coffee cutout. I put my chalk, my tape, place that on top of the mug, use my ballpoint pen to write really hard, put that pressure, you know, on top of your cup, 
And this time around, because I used the purple chalk, you can see it a little bit better on the camera, the transferring that I'm talking about. And then I go ahead, take my pink pen, and I go right over that. You could just use a paintbrush and acrylic paint to do it. It's just easier to use a paint pen, and it's not much more expensive than the acrylic paint in the bottle that you're going to get at Walmart. And that's it for the coffee mugs. Like I said, you can't really drink from them because you'll have to wash them and then the paint will fall off unless you can find waterproof paint. Now let's move on to the tear tray, which, oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite tear trays I've ever done. So from Dollar Tree, you want to pick up either a cake pan or their pie pans. The cake pans are smaller than the pie pans. You can use both if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. It's up to you again if you want to paint this. I am using the white chalk paint again as well as the makeup sponges. I recommend doing a base layer to your pan. Just very thin. Get paint all around it so there is a nice uh, adhesive for the next layer. So that you just have something for the next layer to attach to and make it more opaque. Ended up using a pie pan for the top and then a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. I painted all white as well as these candle pillars that I got from Dollar Tree that I painted white as well. I'm not going to show myself painting everything white because you guys know how to paint. So you're now going to take a heavy duty glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue. You can use Super Glue, E6000, whatever you like, to glue down your candle pillars. So I glued one to the center of the pizza pan and then another one on top of that. So I have a good height between the pizza pan and the pie pan to add my cup. Then I glue on the pie pan and add another pillar to the center of the pie pan. Originally, I was going to put something else at the top of that candle pillar, but I decided to just place a cup on top of there because I thought it looked cuter. So my idea, I'm going to save for another time. Next, I'm going to paint the edges of the pie pan and the pizza pan black. What you do is you take a makeup sponge, put black paint at the tip of that sponge, and then just go around the edges of your pan and this is so much easier to do than taking a paintbrush to it because with a paintbrush you're probably going to make a bunch of mistakes because you know it's hard to keep a steady hand especially with that thin of an edge to paint but with a makeup sponge it's so much easier to do and you don't have to have the steadiest hand if you make a mistake it's easy to undo um, if you keep making too many mistakes don't worry about it you can go back with white paint and just kind of clean up the edges honestly I feel like this is life-changing if you have to paint edges of pans ever for real it's like so easy to do it's actually really fun to do on top of it so hopefully this little technique works well for you that's it for the tear tray one of my favorite tear trays I've ever made and like I said I put a cup at the top you can do it differently if you want to then I decided to add some little planters so from Dollar Tree there's this pack of three planters actually it might come with four I don't know if I was missing one who knows I know there's at least three in them but they're small little planters that I painted white again using my white chalk paint and I just did the same technique that I did with the cups I printed out an image cut it out add chalk to the back put tape on that put it on top of the planter and then I go over it with a ballpoint pen and then go over that with my pink pen. So essentially the exact same thing I did to the cups except this time I added a succulent that I got from Dollar Tree into each one I did. I ended up putting my planters and cups on top of the tear tray and I just thought it was so pretty. And then the final DIY, which is the easiest of them all, is just spray done pictures. So all you have to do is print out an image um, and I just used regular printing paper to do this. And then you just want to get a picture frame from Dollar Tree. They do carry white ones. I had a really pretty little seahorse image inside of this so I made sure I didn't toss it. So I just cut down the image, I put it inside of the picture frame, and then I just added the contents that were already inside of the Dollar Tree picture frame back in, including the seahorse image. Just in case you know I ever wanted to use that again I didn't want to lose it and keep your eyes open because Dollar Tree does carry images that remind me of Ray Dunn it's not exactly the font to the T but it just have that like vibe to it and that's it for this Ray Dunn inspired Dollar Tree DIY video again one of my favorite tutorials I've ever done like I'm so happy with the way everything came out and it's super inexpensive to do I have a lot of paint left over I can use to make a dozen probably more than a dozen of these if I wanted to again do not drink out of the cups or wash them it is just for show if you want to you know actually be able to drink out of them you're probably going to want to get waterproof paints and ones where it would be okay to put your lip over paint 
doesn't entirely make sense, huh? Okay, anyways. Again, thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you. Bye.